lot of people are starting to walk in their bare feet out in the woods and it's uh, referred to as earthing becoming pretty popular and uh, supposedly it gets you more in tune with the earth and the magnetic field and the vibrations all that good stuff I don't know about that but I do know that anytime I go out in the woods and a lot of you probably feel the same way you get out in the woods it just feels good you feel better and uh, it's kind of the same when you take off your shoes and walk in the woods and it just feels good it does make you feel connected and I imagine that is good for your body and your spirit because you're doing something you know connecting with nature feels good always feels good or it should so if you don't get out in nature get out there when I was walking across this log bridge here that goes across can't really tell on film I came back after going across and there's one shoe and only one shoe I'm missing a shoe the forest has swallowed one of my shoes and I can't find it anywhere here shoe Come on, little buddy. I do not see it down there. Weird. Maybe it went down this side. Ugh. What the... Am I losing my mind? Come on. I did find these blue huckleberries, that's nice. Take a little break time. Hmm. That's still not helping me find my shoes. Or my shoe. Yep, there it is. I don't know if you can see it right there. It rolled off and then under that log and stopped down there. So I'm gonna go retrieve that. Luckily it's pretty soft moss on most of this stuff, but uh, yeah, here we go. All right, shoe recovered. I was starting to think maybe Bigfoot uh, was messing with me again, but no, just uh, my careless uh, <laughs> my careless actions sent one of the shoes down the hill. All right, I got my shoes on the back of my backpack. Hopefully they don't come untied as I cross over this log bridge. <laughs> So if you decide to try walking in the woods barefoot, the one thing to keep in mind is you gotta pay attention to the trail because if you're walking along and you kick a piece of root or something like that, you're gonna stub your toe big time and it's gonna hurt. Well, hot dog, I am passing by the uh, tree where I got some oyster mushrooms last time and I think I see some more on there. I might be getting another little uh, harvest going here. You can see right 
up in there. So let's get around this alder here and go check it out. There's a couple of nice ones. And of course I'll leave some of these. Oh, yeah. All right, so there's the little hall. That should be enough just to cook up tonight. Thank you, alder tree. Okay, I think the shoeless adventure is about over. I'm hitting rocks and steep spots that I need a little traction, so we'll uh, put the shoes on and then head down that way. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the cabin. You guys all have a good evening, good day, good morning, good afternoon, and we'll see you next time.